Hello retro gamers. Uh, my wife and daughter have gone out swimming and um, I just fancied having to go on the Saturn and it just uh, inspired me maybe to share a few thoughts on this great machine. Uh, I got a bug a few weeks back from uh, CEX, uh, which is not often where you expect to find uh, Saturn software, but I am actually fired it up for the first time uh, today. So it's a 2D platformer, which uh, the Saturn did really well. Um, but I thought I'd show you some thoughts on um, my collection. 90% of it was originally bought in the 90s. So, uh, yeah, hope you uh, might enjoy taking a look at that with me. Okay, so here's my uh, original Saturn bought probably late 96, early 97. I remember I got it from the market. So uh, it was already in this, this condition when I got it from the market uh, in a town called Northwich in Cheshire. There was a great market there. I used to get my Amiga stuff. And then I saw this. I think it was about 60 quid. And uh, there's some marker pen here. I think that says don't touch. So I don't know if that's someone's name. Can't quite make it out, but uh, it's a piece of history there from the previous owner. Grateful that uh, they let it go to the market and then let me um, buy it. So the Saturn was starting to wane, I think in, uh, what is it, late 95, early 96, as clearly the PlayStation had won the 32-bit wars. Um, but yeah. Um, this is actually a spare console in here um, that I picked up, but uh, yeah, slightly tired box, but uh, you know, uh, happy memories when I did pick it up, and uh, certainly a machine that I enjoyed um, then, and picked up a lot of cheap software for it, which we'll go have a look at now. So here are uh, the games that I got. 90% of it was from the time. Uh, there's an N64 shelf below, but uh, that's not the focus at the moment. First of all was a Virtua Gun, so I had Virtua Cop 2. And uh, there's one, uh, again, nearly all of this was bought from that market in Northwich. Um, really, really good. I still have a CRT, so I can still enjoy uh, Virtual Cop. Uh, memory card, useful. And in fact, my uh, saves um, from things that we're going to see, like Athlete Kings and Sega Rally, were all preserved on here, uh, which has been fantastic to, to pull those out and uh, check the scores and times that I got, uh, particularly with a lot of mates. Their initials are still on there. So really handy device, uh, glad that I kept it. Sega Touring Car, I didn't think that was much cop really. I bought it because it was a racer and I thought it'd be as good as Sega Rally, it wasn't. Sega Rally, um, I mean, not much to say about that other than arguably I think that's probably one of my most favorite games on the uh, on the uh, Saturn. Virtual Fighter 2, I'm not into fighters, I've made that clear on the channel, but uh, that's a really decent high res game. International Victory Goal, it's okay, um, but there are some better football games. Euro 96 is actually a more recent acquisition, as is House of the Dead. Um, House of the Dead is okay. Area 51, uh, again, another more recent acquisition, uh, light gun game. That's a lot of fun. I remember playing that in the arcades uh, when I went to university. So I've picked that up um, to enjoy it again. Now this, this is fabulous. Admittedly, I only played this for OutRun. It didn't have the original Ferrari. Uh, branding on the car, if I remember rightly, um, but it's an arcade, um, almost an arcade, well, it's an arcade perfect conversion and runs at 60 uh, FPS, I believe. Um, so that got a lot of play time. And it's funny, isn't it? Um, in 1996, this was a retro release of a retro game uh, back then. So retro, I suppose retro has always been a thing, um, but quite a special game. Bubble Bobble. Uh, and Rainbow Islands, I remember getting that from the market. It's okay. I mean, I probably would have been tired of playing Bubble Bobble and Rainbow Islands by then on the Amiga. Uh, Daytona, good racer. Um, I still prefer Sega Sega Rally. Virtual Racing, uh, I had this on the Mega Drive and the 32X. This is okay, uh, not, not too noteworthy. Uh, Loaded by Gremlin, it was looking for that familiar 16-bit uh, you know, the the, the um, publishers from the 8-bit, 16-bit era, I saw it on the box and I thought, oh, that's nice, Gremlin. It's okay. So I think it was a top-down top down shooter, um, something like that. Don't have huge memories of it. It's okay. Uh, a better soccer game than um, uh, International Victory Goal. Yep, Sega Worldwide Soccer 98. Got that at the time. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, I've got 97 further down here. Tomb Raider I've only got recently. I believe it was launched on the... Uh, on the Saturn first, not not the um, not the PlayStation. It's okay. It's an okay title. 
uh, it's pretty good. But uh, obviously I'm playing it now, not back in the 90s. Uh, Daytona, the non-championship circuit edition. Yeah, it was okay, a few frame rate issues on that. Uh, here's a Sonic title that got a lot of air time, uh, a lot of play time with me. Uh, Sonic Jam, it's all the Sonic to f Sonic and Knuckles games on one disc. Um, what I like about this one is I don't think they're emulated, or some of these aren't emulated, they're actually ported. So it's got a slightly different feel to it, and you could do the spin dash on Sonic 1, I remember. So, um, yeah, I, that, that got a lot of play time. Panzer Dragoon, uh, not Panzer Dragoon, whoops, not Panzer Dragoon Saga, unfortunately. Um, it's a shooter. Uh, I played it a little bit. I'm going to be honest, I didn't spend a huge amount of time on this. Um, it's okay. Now, what I did spend more time on was the Lost World. Obviously, Jurassic Park in the 90s was huge. I did play this a lot, uh, and I got stuck at one bit where I think you're going underneath the Diplodocuses as the uh, com compi, the, the small uh, veggie dinosaur, I guess. Um, but anyway, a veggie saurus. Um, but uh, yeah, I enjoyed playing this. I thought that the music was great. I seem to remember the music being really, really good on this. Uh, Alien Trilogy. I didn't play this much. I'll be honest, I didn't get much time, uh, so not many strong views on that. Magic Carpet really was better as a PC game. Um, played this a little bit on the Saturn. You get a nice big chunky box on that. Anything from Bullfrog uh, I would buy. Command and Conquer. I mean, it's a great game. Really plays better on the PC, if we're honest, with a mouse and keyboard. Uh, I did play this a fair bit on the Saturn um, before I had a PC that was capable of uh, doing that game justice. Uh, worldwide, uh, World League Soccer. This one's okay. And didn't play it that much. Uh, NBA Jam. I think I'd grown tired of this by the 32-bit era. I played it a lot on the Mega Drive, so it, it's it's okay. Um, but I think I was just worn out of playing that game by then. This is my favourite soccer game on the football game on the uh, Saturn Worldwide Soccer 97. I know I have the 98 edition over here. Uh, I think I played this more. 98 was not a huge uh, jump, to be honest. So yeah, a lot of time spent on that. Virtual One, I think I picked up at a boot sale 10, 15 years ago. I've not played it. Um, so no comment. Sonic R, yep. Um, I think we were looking for a really good Sonic game, weren't we, on the Saturn? Uh, this is okay. I mean, it's okay. I did play it a bit. Um, sort of a racer, you know, uh, running game. Oh dear, this disc needs cleaning up. I don't know what's happened there. I don't know what all that grot is. is that... Anyway, um, it's okay. Uh, it's, it's not maybe the Sonic we wish for. Uh, Sonic 3D, I had this on the Mega Drive. I didn't really play it much more on the Saturn, but I just picked it up because it was a Sonic game at the time. Uh, theme Park I got recently. Uh, I preferred that on the Amiga, you know, mouse and keyboard. Wipeout, good soundtrack. Um, probably better known on the PS1. Um, yeah, it's okay. Uh, I find it too twitchy, too difficult to control. Um, yeah, here's a... I think this is a PAL exclusive. I actually enjoyed this, I must admit. I'm not a huge rugby person player myself because I'm quite slight and uh, I grew up in Wales as an Englishman uh, and I was quite skinny so I got absolutely battered so my memories of playing rugby uh, are generally unhappy ones but uh, uh, it's a PAL exclusive and I enjoyed this actually I thought this was a good game this was obviously at the height of Joni Lomu's um, uh, fame uh, when he was playing for the All Blacks um, yeah as I say really good sports title yeah put a lot of time into that uh, this I got a boot sale 10, 15 years ago. I'm not huge on fighters, but uh, it's a decent, decent enough uh, iteration of Street Fighter. Athlete Kings, this is fantastic. I mean, this, uh, my friends and I played a lot. Still got those scores on the uh, memory card. I can well recommend this. I believe on the uh, uh, PlayStation, you know, was it uh, Track and Field? Um, was highly regarded. I never played that, unfortunately. Um, but I did play Athlete Kings, and this was really, really popular. We pumped in a load of hours into this. Really good uh, couch game, uh, game with friends. Max TT, um, yep, yeah, um, this box is in good condition. Um, it's it's an okay racer. Uh, I'll admit, I still prefer Sega Rally. Um, but, uh, you know, it plays well enough. I, I put in a few hours into that. Uh, Last Bronx, Fighter. Uh, Looks really, really good. I, I remember that. Nice high-resolution graphics. It's, um, yeah, it's okay. Uh, Olympic Soccer. Um, yeah, I played this a fair bit, actually. Um, it's a bit bit crummy. 
Um, you know, it's a bit funky on the controls, but uh, I liked uh, my football games, and uh, yeah, this one was okay. It was okay, not earth shattering. Um, this is the game that I remember playing with my friends a lot, though uh, FIFA Road to World Cup '98. I did have the multi tap, so we could play four players. It says up to eight players here, so I guess would you need two multi taps? Um, yeah, we played this one a lot. Um, I thought it was okay, FIFA Road to Cup, World Cup 98. Um, yeah, I remember Max and I played it a lot. NBA uh, 98 I got more recently, and I'll show you why. Um, so not huge nostalgia for that. Uh, and then this I've got more recently, Street Racer, which I've heard is a, a good fun kart game. Uh, I haven't actually played it yet. Um, now, here's, here's the real special uh, discs. So uh, let me just put those on the table and... Uh, okay, so I brought those discs down. Johnny Bazooka Tone, these are the loose discs. International Victory Goal, it must be a duplicate. Crime Wave, I must play this. Uh, oh, demo, right, okay, shows you I haven't played it. Right, um, here. So I have NBA Live 98 and John Madden 98. There is a reason why I have these and I acquired these more recently. Um, and I didn't have those at the time is because I have these two very special uh, discs. So in the early 2000s, when I moved uh, to Norfolk, I used to go to a lot of boot sales, uh, particularly before I was looking for a job. I used to buy a lot of uh, gear and sell on to make money. And I remember specifically on the outskirts of Norwich, um, there was this uh, lot. It was like one of those big uh, Luton vans full of gear just in cardboard boxes all spewed out um at the front and uh, i found these two discs in there and immediately i knew something was a little bit special about these particularly if we look at this one it says this is reviewable software and then it's got the names of two folk which actually i checked out on linkedin were um you know actually working at ea so that checks out the cases are a bit tired but but the real magic was was within so you can see here it's an actual Electronic Arts uh, branded CDR. So these are these are copies. You know, there's no two ways. Well, these are burnt discs. But you can see it says Beta 6, Madden 98, and then the mastering date. So uh, what I like about this is very special. EA branded, uh, EA branded review software. Um, so I've got Madden, uh, sorry, Madden. Oh, yeah, look, 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 look. it says Madden. Oh, no, NFL, National Football League. Uh, Madden, NFL, and then similar for uh, NBA Live 97, uh, Beta 7. Again, EA branded CDs. So basically, I just bought... Um, uh, I bought... Uh, oh, OK, Madden 98. I thought I had NBA Live 97. I've actually got 98. But anyway, I bought these to compare um, the differences between, between the, the uh, retail disc and the... Um, uh, the review copy. Um, I can't remember, it's been several years since I've looked at this, but uh, I think they are essentially the same. This reviewable software, I think, I know it says beta 6 there, but uh, I can tell by the uh, files and the contents, you know, by running, um, you know, like a comparison, I think they're the same. Unfortunately, I have only been able to play these discs uh, once. Uh, a friend had a mod chip Saturn and they ran. On my Saturn at the moment, I do have a pseudo cart which allows you to play, um, you know, um, burnt discs and, um, uh, you know, other region games. Um, but for some reason, these don't boot uh, using the pseudo cart. But I have seen it play on a, on a chipped uh, Saturn. So, um, yeah, that's my um, Saturn collection. Um, I'm very fond of the machine uh, and still am. So uh, what I'm going to do this afternoon is try out Bug. So a huge fan of the platformers from the 16-bit era. Um, this obviously continued into the Saturn era, but by then, obviously, most things were going 3D. So, um, you know, it was an interesting time for the Saturn, and it was a shame it failed. But uh, I look forward to trying the best, what some of the best platformers and the best games that I didn't get at the time on the Saturn. Uh, and this uh, is one of them, which uh, I'm looking forward to having a go at for the first time. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my uh, trip down memory lane of the great Sega uh, Saturn. Thank you.